So in this exercise that we are given, we have got uh, questions which are to solve for X. Uh, considering these questions, we can see that they are square roots. Okay, we've got a square root here. Also, you have a square root. What type of an equation is it that you're actually working with? We had uh, previously exponents where you are working with equations uh, under exponents you are given something of this nature it is an equation yes that you're working with but you are measuring on exponents in this case we are working with equations involving the sets so this is the part now of the sets where you are working with the square roots remember you are working with the sets, uh, all the laws and applications there that you have on the sets. So how can you solve an equation where there is a square root? With the sets and also the exponents in hand, remember a square root. Let's say we've got the square root of x, which is equal to 2. Let's just take this from a normal equation. If the square root of x is equal to 2, what will be the value of x? The x here, this one. How can we remove the square root? We have to square. Remember, the square root simply means to the exponent of a half. So it's, it's just like we're given x to the exponent of a half is equal to 2. How are you going to remove this exponent of a half? Remember, you're going to use the reciprocal to the exponent of 2 to the exponent of 2. So it is the same thing here. The square root to the exponent of a half. So whenever you have that square, uh, the square root, and another number or another term on the other side, you can simply introduce the square so that you remain with x. And that's 2 squared, which is 4. But now we are having expressions. Yes, we are still having the same concept of our sets, but look what we have there. Expressions that you're working with. So there are stages that you actually need to consider whenever you are solving uh, these equations. One, you need to isolate the set. That is the part with the square root. Make it the subject of the formula. Transpose to have that part as the square root so that you can be able to square both sides. So you have to square uh, both sides and solve for x. Whatever letter that you're given, is it x, is it k, whatever that you're given there, you solve for the given letter. Then Check your answer uh, in the final. Uh, in the final, you have to consider this. All right. Let me just save this one. All right. So there we are saying, after solving, check your solutions or the answer that you're having, the values of x or the value of x, depending with type of an equation. So this is the introduction that we are just having. If you see, these are just basic equations. The equation that you form the after squaring both sides is going to tell. You can form a linear equation. You can form a quadratic equation. It depends. So working on the first question that I'm having here, we are given uh, the square root of x plus 2. Take note, x plus 2 is under the square root. The minus 3 is not part of the square root. So that is minus 3. It is equal to 0. So isolate the set. That is the first thing. To make sure this part under the square root is on its own. That is the set. It is on its own. This part. It is on its own. So what is affecting this? You can see that there is a minus 3 here. So take it to the other side of the equation. Uh, what are we going to have? So remember our equations. So we are going to have the square root of x plus 2 is equal to, remember, the number, the moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. So a minus will give us what? A positive. 
minus 3 to the other side, positive 3. This is to isolate square root. We have that said here, equal to a certain number. Then we can square both sides to remove this square root that you see. The opposite there is simply to square. So you square this side, you square this side. All right, so let's see what are we going to have. Remember, to square is simply to remove the square root. So you remain with what is under the square root, which is x plus 2. So x plus 2 is equal to 3 to the exponent of 2, which is 9. Then you solve for x or for whatever letter that you're given there, uh, depending with the equation that you have formed here, this equation. So in this case, we have got a linear equation. It's a linear equation that you have formed. So we simply have to solve, take the, uh, the 2 to the other side. It is going to be a negative. Uh, so that is going to be a negative 2 here. Uh, 9 minus 2, which is going to give us a 7. So that is the value uh, of x that we are going to have. Then we test this value as I uh, stated here. We need to check your answer. That is to test if this value of x is actually uh, correct. So you're going to substitute into this equation, the original equation that you had. Remember, it was square root of x plus 2. In place of x, you substitute the 7 where x is. All right. So let us check this. So it is going to be the square root of, in place of x, we are going to substitute a 7. So that's 7 uh, plus 2 minus 3. All right. So there's a minus there. This is supposed to give us a zero if it is true. So let us simplify and see if we are going to obtain a zero from this one. All right, so that's the square root of seven plus two, which is nine minus three. Uh, the square root of nine is three. Uh, then we've got three minus three, which is what? Which is zero. As we can see, this part that we substituted the value of seven, it is giving us as which is exactly what we have on the right hand side so you can say the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so meaning to say this is true the value of x there is true so let's say the left hand side and the right hand side is not the same so we have to state that x cannot be equal to 7 but in this case the left hand side you can see it gave us a 0 as what we have on the right hand side so meaning to say our x is truly uh, equivalent to a seven all right let us consider another equation like i said these are just the basics uh, of our introduction to what we're going to have in our next class where we shall be working with other equations which can lead to quadratic uh, equations all right so this is what we have here on another question we have got the square root of uh, seven plus the square root of x. So this is equal to 3. So take note, uh, this part, everything is under the square root. The 7 plus the square root of x is under the first square root that you're given. So already we have the part of the square root on its own. This one. Square root is already on its own. So let's square to remove the first square root this one we are getting rid of this outer this one the outer square root this one by squaring this we are removing this square root so meaning to say we are going to remain with what is under the square root it does not affect the square root of x this one no it does not affect there we are just getting rid of that square so that we properly see what is under the square root so it is going to give us 7 plus the square root of x. This one, it's not affected. We're just taking as it is under the square root. So this is equal to, remember, we squared here. It is 3 squared. We square both sides. Uh, so 3 squared is equal to what? That is a 9. So this is where you are. You are now back to this part of isolating of the square root. To isolate the said which is the part where the square root of x is, make it the subject of the formula. How can we make this uh, the subject of the formula? We are going to take the 7 to the other side of the equation. So it will be negative. 
take this to the other side. So meaning to say the square root of x is equal to 9 uh, minus 7, which is 2. We square both sides now to get rid of the square root. Remember your steps? So you're going to square both sides in this case. So that is the square root of x raised to the exponent of 2 is going to give us x, which is equal to 2 squared, which is a 4. So in this case, as you are squaring both sides, you are, you are automatically obtaining the value of x. So we cannot solve, we cannot say solve anything already of the value of x. But we need to see if truly this is the exact value. You have to check your answer. For this x value that you have obtained when x is equal to 4, does it satisfy the condition that we are given before? From the left-hand side that we are given, uh, in this case, from our left-hand side, we can see that we have got the square root of 7 plus the square root of x. If we substitute this x value, which is 4 in place of x here, we must obtain exactly a 3. All right, so let's substitute. That is the square root of 7 plus the square root of x. Our x being what? Our x being 4. So that was going to give us the square root of 7 plus. Remember, the square root of 4 is 2. Adding these numbers, uh, 7 plus 2, that's a 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. We only work with positive values. We, we know that square root of any number is plus or minus. But when working with sets, you only work with what? Positive values. The answer that you get on your calculator is positive, the one that you work with. So you can see that the left, uh, the left hand side gave us a 3, which is exactly what we had on the right hand side. So this value of x is true because our left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side. So that is to check if the value of x is, uh, is true. So as you can see, on these typical questions that we had, uh, the equation that you're solving later on is just a basic linear equation that we have. So we're going to have our next class uh, working with uh, equations uh, that will actually, uh, after squaring whatever that you have there, it will lead to a quadratic equation. So you must be able to be solving those quadratic equations by factorization method, whatever that you have there. So that's it, guys. Till we meet again.